How to balance work and a side hustle. Many of you have this question and do it wrong. So we're gonna detail that uh, completely how you can balance both. And ideally, I'm gonna suggest you get rid of the side hustle. Let's make it a real hustle. Let's get to six figures, drop the job, and become a pure entrepreneur. How many of you would like that? I would love to know in the comments below how many of you would just love to have a hustle. Because a side hustle, to me, it's little bits of money. It's sort of like my put more cash in your pocketbook. How do you make 500 to 1,000 extra a month? So that helps a lot of families in the world. But is that really what you want? Really just 500 to 1,000? If you're going to go for it, let's go. So if that's interesting to you, I'm interested in working with you and helping you make that transition. Let's talk about three things today. How do you avoid the trap of overworking and actually creating the structure of having work in a side hustle? Then number two, the importance and how you actually prioritize your side hustle so you give it the attention it deserves so it actually makes the money that you want it to make. And I'm gonna talk about the systems. There's two engines that drive the side hustle and a hustle. You've gotta start them both at the right time or you're losing tons of benefits if you don't do it. And then last one, the effects of neglecting you. Self-care, especially you moms out there, you tend to overdo it all and you don't get enough help. And at the end of the video, I'm going to talk about the number one mistake everyone makes when they are attempting to do this straddle of work and a side hustle. How do you avoid overworking? Well, I actually walked through this myself in the uh, kind of 1994, 95, about 96 is when I met Kiyosaki, Bob Proctor called. He said, you got to get on a plane. I was actually running huge teams at Chevron Corporation in San Francisco. Francisco. I said, are you crazy, Bob? Like I have 62 people I have to work with tomorrow. He said, no, I need you on a plane to Scottsdale, Arizona tomorrow. I said, and for what? He said, there's a guy down there built a game. Right, and he's doing a book called Rich Dad Poor Dad, and Sharon Lecter is his partner. You need to go meet them tomorrow. They have opportunities to grow this company, and this would be a great transition. So I called in sick, hired somebody to take my role for the day. I paid them because it needed to happen. I wasn't going to cancel my job or do that. So I just said I can't make it. I sent in a sub to my own job. Believe it or not, yes, I did. I flew to Scottsdale. I walked out of there being the master distributor of the cash flow game. Why is this so critical? Because I have lived this transition. It is not fun if you are serious, which I was serious. I was going to go roll. I wanted to be the master distributor of the cash flow game. I knew this was my pivot back to finance and being in this world. Did I ever think I'd be a best selling author and do all the things I do? No. But you didn't anticipate that. I just knew it was a transition. So, a lot of you, you have that moment where you've had opportunities to do that transition and you've said no because you didn't know the path. So, let's get to it. Overworking. First of all, I want you to write this down employees hang out with employees. Entrepreneurs hang out with entrepreneurs. So I was jumping into entrepreneur life. So I started hanging out with the Rich Dad advisor team. I started hanging out with Dolph DeRuz and Diane Kennedy and Garrett Sutton and Keith Cunningham. I started spending time with all of them, more with the Bob Proctor community and getting away from the Chevron employment community. So here's my how-tos. You get up in the morning and you think about your business. What is that side hustle going to be? At lunch, you don't go to lunch with employees anymore. You spend a good hour and you actually take your lunch hour and you get focused. I actually started coaching right away. So I actually was creating more income right away. And then in the evening, you got to give it time. So if you have children, it gets more complicated, which you have to hire women, you especially you, you've got to get home help. So partner together, get together, do whatever you need, but you got to get some support. And then you got to give us some attention on the weekends. I know a lot of parents, especially single moms, I was a single mom too, where you get the kids to bed seven, eight o'clock, and then you spend eight to midnight working on your side hustle. It's a little more challenging, actually, actually less challenging now. I was going to say it was more challenging back when we didn't have social media because now you can use social media to actually do a lot of work for you during your day while at your job. But it is your absolute commitment to making sure you time block that overworking and staying committed in overworking projects. What do you do number two? How do you prioritize the side hustle? Well, first of all, there's two engines that drive it. You need to get incorporated. So I'm going to have you talk to my team. There's a strategy session link below. Say I need to get incorporated. Do not do that on your own because you don't know what you need given the company you want, the state you're in. And some of you, you're in really, really bad tax states. So we might redirect you to a new state to run your company through. A lot of people use my address. So these are, uh, you know, Northern Nevada addresses. And the second engine you need, and I want you to click on that link below, you have two links. You're going to get a strategy session for your company. You need a corporation to run this through, whether that's an LLCS corp or C corp, my team will determine. The second one is you need a database. Bob Proctor taught me that I was 21 years old. I started collecting names, phone numbers, emails, addresses of everybody I've ever met since I was 21, just a minute ago. I want you to go to our link below. It's called Ask RMS, which stands for 
Rapid Marketing Systems. That is the database that I use. It is my complete team and system that support it. And I will get you up and running inside a company with the right systems. You have to have those two technical systems to drive it because they're going to do a lot of automation and a lot of work while you're at work. And it's only $2.97 a month. And you say, well, I can't afford that. Then start making some money. If you can't afford $2.97, you should probably even not even walk over towards the side hustle. It's not worth it because it's a lot to do what it takes to be an entrepreneur. There's all sorts of departments and divisions to every company from marketing to sales, to accounting, to fulfillment, to operations, technology, customer service. You can't do it all. You say, well, I just want to sell a few things here and there. That's fine, but you still have to have a lot of that in structure in place. And our RMS system, rapid marketing system, will help you structure it. So with the company, it now allows you to live corporate life. So if you've not been to my millionaire intensive, I want to offer you two tickets to my millionaire intensive. I want you showing up. And if you've already been and you still haven't activated this corporate life, I want you to come back because I want you learning and being in our community. I want you understanding what it takes to make money. I want you to have that side hustle available where you can just turn it on and turn it off. Now, once you get to the point where you're actually making some real money, half of your cash take home pay, and I want you to go to my search bar about how to quit your job in 90 days. I'm not gonna talk about that again on the video. There's plenty of video here on my YouTube channel for that. So go figure out how you're gonna quit your job in 90 days. Before I go to my third point, I want you to subscribe to the channel, click that notification button, be here five days a week with you and your family family and actually grab our journal. We have a YouTube journal on what you're learning and what you're going to do. So you actually start creating an action plan from our channel and make it a real interaction with you and your family to learn and understand business. Start some side hustles together. Why not? For your kids, I want to give you another so like gift day, I guess, on YouTube. I want to give you my Gravy Stack app. It is an app for your kids. It has over 100 missions and gigs to teach them about being an entrepreneur, home economics. How does money really work? How does being an entrepreneur work? How can they achieve their own goals. There's goal setting, all sorts of cool stuff in this app. And it's a bank. Gravy Stack at its core is a bank with a debit card for your kids and has a platform that's attached for investments as well and charities. Phenomenal. While you're out subscribing and sharing and notifying, please just share with like five or 10 other families, please. They all need this assets. They need this software. They need this work. So how do you prioritize yourself? Especially I always speak to you women because a lot of you women or just single parents, you make it an excuse to not be successful. You take on being a single parent as a victim versus I took it on thinking, you know, I'm going to change the whole way single parenting works. Took my kids all over the world. They've been to six of the seven continents and I travel them with me and they just immersed in business and money their entire lives. So I had a very different opportunity to do that, but you also include them in your side hustle. Have them be engaged at night. This doesn't have to be just you by yourself. Your kids have amazing skills, by the way. They're technically probably way more critical than you are, especially they could do all your social media. So together you can do all of this, but to neglect self-care, meaning sleep, proper eating. You got to take care of your health. If you don't take care of your health, you're going to fall down. And this is why most people quit. People don't quit their business because they can't figure it out. They quit their business because they're not making money. They don't go to my millionaire intensive and marketplace. They won't activate those skills. And then they just get freaking exhausted because they're not making money. So make sure you prioritize your self-care. Don't neglect yourself because I don't want you quitting because you're tired, exhausted. And I can tell a lot of you what you have to do. The first money you make, once you get incorporated and get RMS, the next money is you're going to have to hire some help, whether that's home help to take care of food prep and take care of the home and all that takes to take care of or hire somebody to set appointments for you so you can actually get on the phone do an ask, tell, ask, which you're going to learn at my millionaire intensive and start closing deals. There is no reason all of you cannot be making five, 10,000 a month within a few short months doing everything that I teach. We have the full system A to Z on everything you need to make that happen. If you have questions, go to asklaurel.com, ask a question, make a request, and we'll be back tomorrow.